start. Yep. Okay, questions for Coach Frost. Jeremy, go ahead with first questions. Yeah, first question, uh, Sean Callahan, Husker Online. Hey, Coach, uh, obviously it uh, didn't go the way you guys wanted, but what did, what did you like about your team's performance today, and, and how did things kind of get away from you guys there in the third, fourth quarter? Uh, I thought I thought we did a lot of good things, um, and you know, I'd, unfortunately, some of the things that uh, led to the game getting out of hand were self-inflicted things that we can fix. Um, you know, we we had too many penalties; they didn't have hardly any. Um, we turned the ball over a couple times with the quarterback running. Um, you know, we got we got them in a couple of second and really longs and and gave up first downs on third and 14s. We, get, we, can, we can fix a lot of those things as a group. You know, we hung in with them a lot better than we did last year physically, and, um, and I give a, lot, a ton of credit to them. That's a really good team. Uh, but I was proud of how our kids fought. Uh, at the end of the second quarter, we got the ball back 17, down 17-14, and a chance to go take the lead before half and kind of shot ourselves in the foot uh, with the delay of game penalty. That's my fault. And... A holding penalty, or a, I, I can't remember what happened next, and and they score quick before half, and then score coming out of half, and uh, that's the game. Next question, Brian Christofferson, two four seven. Scott, I know you can't comment on the calls directly, maybe, but just the rule in general about Deontay and Cam having to sit out the next half. Is there a way that could be revisited by the league uh, before then, or what do you know on that? I have no idea, and, and I'm not going to say anything now other than on the field it looked to me like Deontay hit him in the chest with his shoulder, but, um, you know, that that's just me seeing it live in, in, in the uh, stadium big screen. So um, hopefully we can have some discussions about that. We'll see where that goes. We got we got to we got to play smart as a team, and and uh, you know the the other one certainly wasn't violent, but it it was a dumb play, and, and we need to fix those things. How did you think your defense played as as a whole? What was your thoughts on that? You, you know, I, I think time will tell. I I was happy with how they competed. I thought we tackled pretty well, um, but we gave up a lot of yards, and and I don't know if that's because we were playing such a good team. You know, again, ton of credit to them with their quarterback, the speed they have it. At skill, I think they have a lot of future pros on their team, and um, at times I thought defense played well and battled. But uh, we got to get more stops than that. Uh, offense has to put our defense in better situations than that. Next question, Parker Gabriel, Lincoln Journal Star. Hey Scott, did you overall like what Luke McCaffrey gave you, and what did you yeah. make of the way you you know mix him in at different ways and, and the way quarterbacks play together? Yeah, you know, I've been telling everyone that our two quarterbacks are two of our best players on our football team, and um, that certainly played out today. I thought both played well. Um, can't turn the ball over. Uh, if we're going to run our quarterbacks like we do, then they need to uh, take care of the football just like everybody else, and uh, we'll certainly address that this week. Next question, Mitch Sherman, The Athletic. Scott, you talked uh, late in the week about being interested to see how your guys would respond when Ohio State hit them in the mouth a little bit, and you know that moment kind of came at the very end of the first half. Um, how do you how do you address that? How do you you know what's your, what's your response to the way that that um, those few minutes? At the yeah, end I think it happened. I think it happened. I think it happened before that. It was. Uh, are you by yourself? I'm sitting in the press box. Yeah. By yourself? Oh, no. There's uh, I don't know, 20, 30 of us up there. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, I see. Uh, I thought they, you know, th that happened earlier than, er than late second quarter. Uh, I thought that happened in the first and early second quarter, and I thought our guys responded really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of excitement down there when, when we get tied it up 14-14. And then defense came a couple inches from getting a stop on the next drive. We got the ball back 17-14, and um, I thought we still did some good things after that. Uh, we just have to produce better on offense on that drive and keep them from scoring at the end of the first and um, want to come out of the locker room and get a stop. But, again, we were playing a good team, and I give them a ton of credit. Next question is from Sam McEwen, Omaha World Herald. Hey, Scott. Um, how, how did you feel like your pass game functioned today? Um, 
didn't get a lot of looks downfield, um, but the completion rate was really high. Um, what, what did you like from the way that Adrian and Luke played in that role, and what more do you want from, from your past game going forward? Well, I thought we had a really good game plan. Coach Lubix made us better. Um, you know, we stopped ourselves a lot today between uh, penalties and and sacks. And uh, when when we played clean drives, uh, we 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 executed pretty well and moved the ball well. Um, we still, as a program, need to be able to push the ball downfield better. There's no question about that. When you watch the speed they have at wide receiver and the shots they take and the deep balls they hit, um, when you hit those, those are big plays. And even if you don't hit them, you're backing people up and keeping people honest. Um, you know, we, we have a ways to go to, to, to be able to be that kind of th- threat uh, to hit a home run in the passing game. Uh, but I, I thought the guys executed the game plan we had very well. We had a couple other chances and fumbled a snap and um, missed a protection uh, with guys running open downfield. And um, I thought they executed the game plan well at times, but we shot ourselves in the foot too much. Yeah, we're getting better at that position. There's no doubt about it. Um, we, you know, we have to watch the tape and see how everybody played. But uh, I thought the the guys that played did some good things, made some catches. Thought our tight ends really got involved in the game plan, which uh, we've needed to have happen. Um, and then some of the young guys got in late in the game, and every rep they get is valuable. Um, so we'll keep bringing that whole group along. Um, is it? I, I can tell the article you're going to write, and. Uh, you know, that's one game against a really good football team. So if we didn't throw for 450 yards, there's always next week. Uh, next question, Andrew Ward. Hey, Scott, just curious, do you hear any update on, on Josh Gold's condition? Uh, I haven't even heard yet, to be honest with you. A couple more uh, for Coach. Coach. Next question, Andy Kenny. Hey, Scott. Um, how much, do you, in your opinion, have you guys closed the gap with Ohio State? It's, it seemed like you really hung with them this year as compared to last year. Um, and do you feel better and, and, and encouraged going into the, the final seven or eight games of the season? Yeah, that, you know, that's game one. Uh, you know, we, we probably got assigned the hardest challenge in the league on game one. Um, we got a really one tough one again next week. We're playing the Big Ten East champions and the Big Ten West champions week one and two. Um, that's the cards we are dealt. We're just excited to be playing football, but um, that's one game. And I'm more than anything just thrilled to be out there with the guys. Uh, thought we definitely matched up better than we did a year ago. Uh, to beat a to beat a team and to and to take uh, kind of take control of the league and your destiny and be able to win those games, you you need some veteran guys that are able to um, look those type of teams in the eye and and go out and whip them and. I think we got a lot of guys that are, are ready to do that, and we need some more. Jeremy, last one for Coach. All right, last one, uh, Zach Carpenter. Hey, Scott. Um, just curious, how big of a focus was Garrett Wilson and your defensive game plan, and what is it about his skill set that makes him difficult to game plan for? He had a good game. They have other guys, too. Uh, we did our best to stop everybody. He had a good game. Thanks, Coach.